What's good, y'all? This is the dope guy, and I will be recapping my whole year of 2020. If you see, if you can tell by the look of my face right now, <clears throat> this is gonna be a tough video because this is a lot of emotions involved, and I just want y'all to bear with me because this is gonna be the probably the most sentimental video I've ever done. You know what I mean? So just bear with me. And we're gonna rock. Alright? So just don't mind me. Don't mind my emotions right now. Please don't. This is as real as it gets. This is as real as it's gonna get. Nothing fake, nothing phony. All authentic. This is real. This is real emotion. I'm crying real tears. Just just thinking of everything that has happened in 2020. So please bear with me. Please bear with me. Twenty twenty. A lot of things that went on this year. If you had asked us the end of twenty nineteen going to this year, would a lot of things be what they were? No, they wouldn't. We wouldn't believe it at all. You know what I'm saying? We all go into the new year with new goals, positivity, a fresh start. We all that's how we, everybody starts their year off. We all start our year off with just brand new energy just trying to continue and go on with life bro that's just how we start off the year every year i felt like the beginning of my 2020 it was going well you know what i'm saying i was i was living my best life enjoying life doing new things trying new things going to different places i was extremely happy it was just a lot going on that was positive and i was so happy with that and i was really content i wanted to keep that energy going you feel me so I was really hype on how the year was started. You know what I mean? Super hype. It was just, I was having a lot of fun. It was the most fun I was probably was having. You know what I'm saying? I was dating someone at the time. We was just living our best life, just having fun. Um, YouTube career was picking up. Um, my family, we were good. Everything was good. You know what I'm saying? Doing well. Just being happy. A lot of good has happened in 2020, I would say. I think the biggest accomplishment I had in 2020 is when I got my YouTube channel monetized. Now, people who don't know what it means to have your channel monetized is when you need a thousand subscribers on your channel and you need at least 4,000 hours of watch time within a 12 month period, you know what I'm saying, to be able to be eligible for monetization. Um, I was able to get it in eight months. I was monetized in late August of 2020. If y'all see my vlog from over the summer when I was celebrating that, accomplishment and my best friend's 30th birthday you will understand why it was a big deal man it was it was lit you know what i'm saying i put in so much hard work into that the best feeling ever it was it was amazing because i worked so hard people don't understand people think this youtube shit is easy it's not even close bro this youtube shit is so hard so hard i start off the channel a lot of people don't know I started off the channel with a partner and I had made an executive decision, a business decision that, you know, the channel would just be focused on me. Um, my partner, she didn't want to do it anymore. Shout out to her. I have nothing against her. No ill will whatsoever. No slander, none of that. It was just, you know, it was just a business decision that had to be made and I took over the rights of the channel and here we are monetized we lit you know it's all about me the dope guy we <laughs> we super lit out here bro for sure y'all already know how it is man another good thing that happened 2020 and, and i'm not doing it in any particular order as far as like what what the good and the bad i'm not doing any particular order i feel like during the early stages of the quarantine i really got into cooking you know say so i'm usually not the biggest cook um i like to eat of course <laughs> y'all know i love to eat never tapped into that talent of you know wanting to cook more more have more experience in the kitchen but during quarantine i found myself doing a lot of things preparing a lot of different meals um my food came out great so that's a that's a great thing i think the one thing i hate about cooking is the cleaning up process like people say you, you know you can clean up as you cook you know whatever but it's just too much bro cleaning up dishes pots pans silverware it was too much Clean, wiping the stove down making sure you don't burn your damn food <laughs> it was just too much dog now cooking is something i enjoy doing whenever i get a chance to do it 
Um, like I said, I still don't like the cleaning up process, but you know, my food be good and people rock with it. You guys ain't want to know whoever tried anything I've cooked, they like it. So, hey, I can't complain about that. So, at least my food is edible. So, yeah, that's always a great thing. I experienced some, you know, soca parties, some reggae parties. It was super fun. Like, I've never had that type of experience before. You know, it was super fun. It was one of the best times of my life. Like, the one event I went to this year before lockdown was Afro Soca Love. It was super dope. It was a whole vibe. We partied the night away, you know, danced. I danced the whole event, bro, like for real. Uh, it's to the point where I woke up the next morning, my knees hurt it for a week. You know what I'm saying? When you turn 30, people don't understand. When you hit 30, to all my people, all my people who watch this video, if y'all are 30 already, bro, that shit hits different, dog. The pain, certain, certain things hits different, bro. Pain in your knees, your back hurt. Everything is sore. You need the ice. You need to relax yourself. It's crazy. <laughs> People who don't understand that. All these youngest, they be trying to talk about all of us who are, you know, up in age. Like, bro, wait till you get there. It's tough. <laughs> you had to learn you're not 22 anymore. You are 30. So it's it's, it's tough, bro. <laughs> but it was so much fun. It was such a vibe. It was just lit. Like. It was like one of the highlight moments of the year for me. It was so much fun. If you ever experienced Soka Love, bro, Afro Soka Love, that's what it's called. Please experience it. It's such a vibe. It's super dope, bro. I promise y'all will, will not be disappointed. It's lit. <laughs> Live your life the best way you can, bro. Also, something else in 2020 that I found that was super amazing is that, you know, during quarantine, you know, people, you know, unfortunately can't go to work. You know what I'm saying? Can't, you know, be social like our lives has been altered because of this virus because of the pandemic but the best thing that happened during this pandemic is that i seen a lot of people on social media tapping into their own creative talents whether you're selling clothes creating clothes shoes jewelry um starting a youtube channel um photography um music producing this is such an amazing thing to see people I know or people I don't know really expanding their talents and showing what they can really do bro everybody doesn't want to work for other people their whole lives bro everybody wants to be their own boss everybody wants to do their own thing and rightfully so like I was really proud of a lot of people I know who were just doing their own thing you know being their own bosses it was it was it was such amazing I was so happy to see people do that it really was motivating me to see people who I've known for years do their thing out here I ain't never been more proud of people like that in my life until this year, man, because like I said, that was the one positive thing that this pandemic has brought us is being more creative, chasing your goals, chasing your dreams. It was, it was, it was amazing, dog. It was amazing. I, I, I support all of those people. Shout out to all y'all who were doing y'all thing during this pandemic and still handling y'all business. Shout out to y'all, dog, for real. It was super amazing, bro. There's good, you know, but you know, there, there's been bad too. The year started out with Kobe Bryant passing away. Kobe Bryant was my favorite player. You know, I've grown up watching him since I was like 12, 13 years old. When I heard the news, it, I couldn't believe I, ain't, I thought people was lying about that. It was, I thought people was dead ass lying. Like, man, hell no, not Kobe, bro. Of all people? Nah, dog. When the news broke and it was official, I don't know, I cried as if I knew him. You know what I'm saying? He was someone I looked up to, Mamba mentality. Um, like I say, he's my favorite player of all time. He's my GOAT, you know what I'm saying? I'm from Chicago, you know, we love Michael Jordan, but, you know, I grew up on Kobe for sure. I watched Kobe win all his championships. It was super dope, man. Like, Kobe was our hero, you know what I mean? And I just felt like when he passed away, I feel like that's where everything in this world, everything in 2020 just went left. We're in the middle of a pandemic still, almost a year of, of, this, of this coronavirus being around, bro. Like, God damn, like, it's been taking a toll on people losing jobs, um, not making any money. It was, it's been tough, bro. You know what I'm saying? People had to do what they had to do to make the ends meet. And, you know, I'm not here to judge nobody. Hey, do what you got to do to provide for you and yours. It's been tough, but dealing with that, to not be able to go out. Uh, even though going out, like, socially, that's like the least of people's worries. It should be. You know what I'm saying? Well, of course, we all like to have fun and, you know, relieve stress and whatnot, but I feel like going out, that's the release. That's the 
whatever with that. It's just that people were going through harsh times, man. It was really tough. I'm prayers to all those who are still fighting, still doing what they gotta do. Things will get better, I feel like, eventually. And we'll just see what happens. I really see the light at the end of the tunnel, for sure. I feel like, me personally, now I'm talking about myself now. I feel like after getting monetized on YouTube, that was like probably the last time I was super, super happy. Because it was an accomplishment I worked so hard in, tried my best. I, I put in a lot of work into this channel to keep it growing, you know what I'm saying? Keeping it moving, you know what I'm saying? After I got monetized, my personal life, like the last four months of this year has been tough. Like I said, bear with me, bro. Bear with me as I continue to talk about how the rest of my year went. Um, people who know me personally knows that my granny means the world to me. My granny means, my grandmother means everything to me. Everything. And to see her go through her health issues it was tough. It was super tough because my granny has always been, I always looked at my granny as a super, a super woman, superhero, you know. <sighs> Just to see her, you know, she's getting older, <laughs> she's getting older, um, so people's health, of course, takes a hit. But I don't know, it's just hard watching my grandmother. But she's fighting. That's one thing. She is fighting, bro. My grandmother is a fighter, dog. She's been like that my whole life. You know what I'm saying? She's someone I've always looked up to. And, you know, I just hate watching her go through the things she's going through. I hate it. To have a lot of conversations, jokes, laughs, all that stuff. We used to do all that all the time. Especially early this year, we did that all the time, bro. And just watching her go through what she's going through is it's, it's, it's unfamiliar territory for me. It's, 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 it, it, it breaks my heart every time. But like I said, she's a fighter going through her many health issues. And I guess my issue is that I don't know how to deal with it. I don't. Because I'm not used to it. I've been through the situation with other relatives in the past. Like my mom. God rest her soul. My brother, God rest his soul. My grandfather, God rest his soul. I've been through a lot with other relatives and they've been gone for like years. They've been gone for 10 years plus, you know what I'm saying? But my grandmother, people who know me know how I feel about my granny dog. And just watching her go through what she's going through, it's hard. It's hard to deal with. It's hard. It's emotional. It breaks my heart. I just wish I could just take all her pain away. I'd rather me suffer through it than her, bro. I can't, I don't, it's hard, man. People, if you got someone who's close to you, dog, and watching them suffer the way they do, it does nothing but make you pissed off. Nothing but makes you angry. Angry. It makes me angry every time. Every day I see her, it makes me fucking angry, bro. It pisses me off. But like I said, she's a fighter. Uh, she's continuing to push through. She's doing. She's she's doing well. You know what I'm saying? But it's just I just hate it. I I don't like it at all, bro. Could I I'll take it all away? I take it all away. For sure. God got us. We're going to get through it. No matter what. Dealing my own personal issues has really had me feeling down for a while. Depression. Um, just sad. Not happy, bro. People don't... I haven't been happy in so long, bro. Personally, within my personal life. It's just a lot to deal with. A lot I'm dealing with, you know, um, that I don't really share with people like that. Even when I record the videos for y'all, man, gather up all the energy, gather up all the positivity to record videos, man. Do what you, you do what you have to do to entertain your subscribers, you know, entertain your fans on YouTube when, you know, your personal life is suffering. That's not, you know, that's tough. It's hard. It's really hard. 
my personal life and my YouTube life is it, it's a battle. You know what I'm saying? It's a it's a battle, dog. But you know, I always fight through it. I always make sure when I come on this camera, I'm lit. I'm energized, you know what I'm saying? I'm not phony or fake, none of that, bro. You know what I'm saying? You're seeing tears in my eyes. I'm being real with y'all. I've always been legit with y'all. Always been 100, you know what I'm saying? Dealing with my granny's health, dealing with my own personal, my own personal issues. Um, I've dealt with heartbreak this year. Things just didn't work out. Shout out to her. I have nothing against her whatsoever. You know, things just didn't work out, but you know, it did hurt. Life goes on, it is what it is. I dealt with people sliding me, like someone I thought was a friend. Someone who I used to come to as a friend. Play me left. I don't appreciate that at all. So, I hope you're watching this video. Because I don't appreciate that, dog. Like, how you play me, that was whack. Whack. Whack shit, you know what I mean? People like that, you don't need around, bro. Especially when you've been nothing but... 100 with them be be a genuine person you don't need people like that in your life who you think is a friend and they come come to find out they're not who they say they are so you don't people don't deserve that you don't deserve those type of people in your life bro move on from them bro you can't kill it you cannot go into 2021 with those type of people in your life you just cannot do that we're getting older we're getting more mature that's childish Leave it, in the, leave it in the past. Leave these people in the past, bro, for sure. They don't need, they don't deserve to go where you're going. Leave them where they at. That's perfectly fine. Leave them where they at. Like I said, 2020 has been a tough year for everyone. Not just me. Not just me at all. There could be someone out there that's going through worse situations than I am. And that's perfectly okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm just here discussing what I'm going through, what I feel like is tough in my life. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to tell a, a, a story try to compare it to anyone else's life because we all live different lives i'm not in i'm not trying to do that i'm not in it for that not at all i'm just telling y'all how my year went the good and the bad you know what i'm saying people during this process who have had my back who have supported me i super appreciate them so much like my homegirl alicia she's gonna watch this video she's probably gonna cry watching this video but you know, during the process, she's held me down. I love her to death. She's my home girl. That's my that's my people, bro. I love you, and you know how we rock it. I love you, bro. Um, <laughs> my sister Jacinia, I've known her since high school. I love her to death. She's crazy, bro. <laughs> she's lit, man. But I love her to death. That's my sister. You know, that's my sister. Um, my sister Ash. My country sister, I love that girl to death, for real, man. If you saw a picture of us, you would swear we were actually related. But, you know, hey, man, she gets her looks from me. <laughs> me being the older person and all. Me being the big brother and all. You know what I'm saying? But I love I love her to death. That's my sister, man. I love her to death. Um, my cousins, you know. It's a lot of y'all. I ain't gonna name a lot of y'all. My cousins, bro, y'all been holding me down. I love y'all. My CEO family, love y'all, bro. Um, best friends Ronald and Carl we've known each other for 15 years we've been friends for that long bro you know what I'm saying one of my bro said Carl I just saw him yesterday shout out to you bro I love you dog um we've been friends for since the 10th grade you know what I mean holding each other down you know through high school college and you know where we at now in our 30s you know what I'm saying They're my brothers I love them um and last but not least, my sister. My protector. My protector. My older sister. <laughs> the mother of my niece and nephew who I love dearly. My sister has been holding us down, holding our family down all year long through all the tough times. I saved the best for last, man. My sister, I, I love her to death. Certain things I don't say to her. It 
probably selfish on my end, but there's certain things I don't say to her because I try to protect her. Uh, certain things that I'm going through, I don't really talk about with her because, you know, we, we've been through a lot as a family over the years, you know what I'm saying? So I just, she's going to, I know she's, she's going to watch this video and get mad at me, but I just, I just do what, I just keep her out of certain things that I'm going through personally. Um, to just protect her, but you know, I, I, I can't be doing that. If there's anything that's bothering me, if she asks me, I have to just talk about it with her. Um, cause I, I don't really try to show too much emotion around my sister. Like I said, we've been through a lot as a family as is, so. Um, my sister is somebody who is, she's really my protector dog since we were kids. Um, I love her dearly. I do anything for her. I feel like as I get bigger in my career, everything I want to accomplish, I want to do for her. You know what I mean? Because, like I said, she's held she's held us down for so long. And she deserves high praise. You know what I'm saying? So, little Wani, <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I hope you don't cry watching this video, but I love you to death. You know how we are. You know how we rock. You know what I'm saying? Um, this is my sister, man. That's my heart. That's my... That's my protector. That's my... I love her, man. I, I love that woman, bro. For real. I, I love my sister to death, bro. I'll I do any... I'll, I'll risk it all for my sister, man, for real. That's family, always. I'm really looking forward to 2021. Um, I'll be uploading more content starting next week, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm expanding my, my brand. Um, I'll be selling merchandise in 2021, so if y'all are interested, when that, when that merch drop, please support the dope guy. Please support your big dog. Your big, big dog. Please support me, bro. For real, man, this we gonna take this into another level, man. 2021 is gonna be lit. We got better things coming. This channel is gonna continue to grow. Oh, I'm sorry. I thank y'all, man. I thank all my supporters, all my subscribers. This channel will be where it's at for one for y'all, man. This channel has been growing every day. Um, I read y'all comments. We have conversations in the comments, like legit, where it's something serious or we laughing and joking. That's how. That's just how it is, bro. You know, y'all my big dogs. I love y'all to death. I just appreciate y'all for supporting me, sticking with me. I want to vlog for y'all, man, but it's snowing out here in Chicago. Things are still on lockdown. It's just crazy, man. I'm pissed off about it. I am super pissed off. I'm looking forward to what 2021 brings. Positivity, vibes, um, success, and most importantly, happiness. I never knew how important happiness was until I got older. I never feast for happiness so much in my life. Happiness is so important to me now. Um, that's all I want. Happiness is a big deal to me now. I just want to be happy with what I'm doing. Happy with all the decisions I make. Um, happy with the people I have in my life. You know what I'm saying? I just want to be happy. As I'm continuing my process of building my brand, building my name, and just you know, being an overall better person. Just being happy, bro. That's super important. But, yeah, I'm gonna wrap this video up. I've been talking for a long time now. <laughs> I've been talking for a long time. Um, I appreciate y'all for letting me, you know, share how my year went. You know what I'm saying? If there's anything y'all want to talk about as far as like how y'all years went, please comment in the comment section below, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't, we can have that conversation if you want. Um, all the good and the bad. We could talk about it all. I don't care what it is, bro. But yeah, man. Um, I love y'all. My family, my friends, my subscribers, my supporters. I love y'all, man. For real. Y'all mean a lot to me. I just just want to make y'all proud. Continue to motivate. Um, chasing our goals. Chasing our dreams. And most importantly, finding happiness in whatever we choose to do in our lives, man. I love y'all. 
I'm glad this year is over with. <laughs> this was a tough year, bro. Like I said, the year had some good and some bad, but overall it's just been tough for a lot of us. So I'm glad we are at the end of 2020 going to the new year. Man, I love y'all. Shout out to y'all. Have an amazing New Year's Eve, amazing New Year's Day, and I will see y'all in 2021. This is the dope guy. And I'm out in 2020. We go.